What's up guys, Sketchface here and in today's video I am showing you guys my process of paying a pair of shoes. I've never done anything like this before so it was a first time experience for me and I was super nervous getting into it but um, once I started drawing and painting it got a lot less hard for me and I actually like how it ended up looking by the end of the uh, project. Also, if you're wondering why I'm showing so many sunflowers on screen right now, it's because the title and the thumbnail of the video and what we're doing today seems very, very appropriate for all of this. So I felt it would set the mood if I showed you guys a bunch of sunflowers. Also, it's because sunflowers are the greatest flowers to ever exist. Do not at me. We all know this. We get chips. We get sunflower seeds. We get various things that I can't think of right now from sunflowers, so they should be appreciated. We don't appreciate them enough, and I'm here to say that sunflowers are the greatest flowers. Before the video starts, like and subscribe for more art content, and um, watch this video. You know, I really enjoy doing this drawing, and I love bringing it to life, so I wanted to sh you guys to check it out and get a little more views on it because I think it's a very very lovely art piece and uh yeah i can't show you the full thing because it's too awesome for your eyes uh also i haven't given to the person yet so let's just hope they really like them before you start painting a shoe you gotta come up with a design something you want to do have a clear image in your head of the idea you want to achieve and then you put it on the shoes well that's not like the first thing you do you don't go right into it you gotta like prep yourself you gotta make sure you've done everything correctly before you start so uh step yeah. zero step one is just sew the shoes get just so and coat it several times with gesso to uh get a good layer over the shoes so you don't just paint on the canvas and just sew it up there i know i'm saying gesso a lot but gesso 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 i forgot to say put tape around the soles of the shoes so you don't get paint on the soles and make it look kind of messy yeah don't forget that do not forget that unless you're going for like a messy design or something step two is to sand paper on the paper after you're done gessoing let it sit there for a while and then start sandpapering it like so what i'm doing in the video just to get all like the rough part of the shoe off from the gesso and do that for a little bit, but not too hard where you scrape off the gesso, but just enough to like get off all the little rough edges and such. Next thing you gotta do is just start penciling the design that you want. And don't do it as hard as I did, but make it kind of light, like with an H pencil or like a mechanical pencil. That's like the best way you can get a mark that you can see but it also doesn't like mess up your design you have a background to your drawing like right here i'd say start in the background first that's the best way to do this and as you can see i started painting it and then i painted over it afterwards because it didn't look all the way complete and there it is right there Now we can start doing the design. And there is the middle of the sunflower seed. And here's a speed draw of me going through it because it's like, it took me a minute. So I just want to show you guys what I was doing for my process. Ooh, super satisfying to watch. I'm enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too. Now in a few seconds, you're gonna see me decide whether I wanna do light green for the leaves or dark green. But then in the end, I decided just to do dark green. 
and that light green kind of like squiver skin and I do not want that on sunflowers because that's just no. And as you can see, in my mind right then, I thought I was done with the shoes. There's nothing else I had to do to make them any better. But then I had a mistake. When I took off the tape, there was like this line of just white where the tape was covering it up. So I didn't get to reach that spot at all. So I thought I'd just come back to that later after I was done and fix it up. And my art teacher gave me the idea to maybe put a little bit of something on the back so it doesn't look so bare. And honestly, I really had to agree on that one. Decided to put two sunflowers on the back of both pairs. And then I had the background. And then here is the final product and how it ended up looking. I gotta say, it turned out a lot better than what I expected. And uh, I'm glad I went through with the design choice.